Now Rapunzel had a talent, a sort of princess superpower. Oh, I, I wouldn't really call it that. Well, you're not the narrator, are you? No. Please continue. A sort of princess superpower. And the one thing one must know about princess superpowers is that generally the more useless the talent, the more beautiful the princess. And Rapunzel... Has the most useless talent in the known universe. What? I adore your talent. Seriously? Hair growth. That impresses you? Your tresses make me tremble. Your hair suitness makes me horny. Rapunzel's most useless talent for controlling the growth of her hair meant that she was the most beautiful princess in the land, which would not have been a problem, except that she was also... Smart. Scary smart. <clears throat> Super numerically smart. Touché. Hey, did you know that the definition of Googleplex is 10 to the Google power where one Google is greater than the number of elementary particles in the known universe? Huh? In fact, Rapunzel's love of math was directly proportional to how much she did not love the prince. Which is not at all. And Rapunzel's complete disinterest in the prince was directly proportional to his absolute fascination with her. My love, I shall make you my queen. And so, in an effort to delay her nuptials as long as possible, Rapunzel built a tower and concocted a story about an evil stepmother. She's just... so... evil. Uh-huh. Yeah. Evil. Got it. Okay! Good. Gotta go! And she locked herself away in the tower. I shall rescue you, my love! And began to formulate a plan. Or, as it were... An equation. Okay, if I take the circumference of the tower divided by the prince's metabolic rate, factored by average wind speeds, caloric intake, height, weight, lean muscle mass, accounting for his princely genetics... From which she arrived at a number. The number. The number which describes the constant rate at which my hair must grow for the climbing prince to never reach the top of the tower. Genius, your majesty. Thank you. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your... Oh. And the prince climbed. I'm on my way, my lovely! And climbed. Won't be long now! And climbed some more. Nearly there, my love! Except that he wasn't. Because as he climbed, Rapunzel grew her hair. I hardly even notice it. It's like tapping my finger or chewing. Who thinks about chewing? So you decided to show up. Maybe you didn't notice my tweets, my Facebook posts, or my YouTube, and, but you know, it's not too late, America. You hardworking folks have enough time to turn around, walk out that door, and show these elitist community organizers, you know, making art for the community, that you are smart and won't be fooled into palling around with terrorists. We're here in San Francisco in Union Square to ask people how to pronounce this word. Iphigenia. 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 I believe it's Iphigenia. Iphigenia. Uh, Iphigenia. Iphigenia. Oh, uh, Iphigenia. 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 I